Okay, good morning, good morning. Good it's morning. the last week of instruction for school. Are you happy about that? No. Yeah. 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 No. Okay. Uh, I'm happy about it, you know. Can't lie, I am a teacher, but I do enjoy summer as well. It's not like, oh, shucks. I don't say shucks normally. <laughs> do you? Yes. You really do? Yeah. You say shucks? Oh, shucks. Oh, turtles. Yeah. yeah, you like, we have a turtle fan here, so that's all. All right, so let's list a bunch of uh, formulas for area of a bunch of shapes. All right, so uh, please give me a shape. Yes. Triangle. We got one here. Yeah, go ahead. Square. Square. And what is the uh, formula for area of a square? Anyone? Base times height. height. Very good. Area equals B H. Any other shapes that fall under this category of the area is base times height. Yes? Rectangle. Rectangle, putting it down. Anything else? Yes? Parallelogram. Very good. It is true that a parallelogram. Oh. Squares, rectangles, and parallelograms. Area equals base times height. All right. Let's even draw a little depiction for this parallelogram. By the way, you guys know I'm from Maryland, right? We do. Go back. From Maryland? Yeah. I did not know that. We've talked about this before. before. We have? I, I what have city? <laughs> um, I used to live in, like, by the Potomac. Potomac. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> nice. Anyway, do you know the Maryland accent? Or Merlin? Merlin. Merlin. Anyway, so you'd say that you call this a parallelogram. <laughs> From Merlin. It's a parallelogram. <laughs> anyway, I gave that up. Uh, okay, what would be the base of this parallelogram? Four. Four. No, no, I mean, where would it be? At the bottom. The bottom here, so I'm going to put a little B. And what, would the height be here? No. It no! Would be straight up. Yeah. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Stir it up, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the area of a rectangle, square, parallelogram. Uh, another shape, please. Triangle. Triangle. Area equals. Base times height divided by two. Cool. I'm gonna write that. If this is the same thing, one half bh, which is base times height divided by two. You've seen that before. Uh, another shape. Trapezoid. Yes. Got triangle. Yes. Trapezoid. Trapezoid. Let's do it. <laughs> Trap. Uh, zoid. Sounds like a robot. I don't know this one. Uh, area equals. Anyone know this one? It's kind of weird. Yeah, you got it? Feel it? I might know. Sort of? Yeah, it's in the book. You feel free to look at it. Totally. Like one half. You got a one half in there. Second base times top base divided by You're close. You're close. It's right in the book. So many people I'd recommend. It is. Don't be afraid of looking stuff up. You know? What do we have? Base one plus base two times height. Yes, that's it. And, and we got the half. Good job. So we got the height. So we have B1 plus B2. Whoa. Nice. All right. So let's put a little picture for this one, too. OK. There we have trapezoid. Bless your soul. <laughs> I know, and I'm not gonna do it unless in the summer you want me to like email you. Bless you. That's for your sneezes in the past month. <laughs> uh, base one, base two, and, and the, height. the height would be same deal with this. So let's do it in a different color. There's your height there. So it would be one half times the height, whatever that is. Naturally, height needs to be perpendicular. And then add up the bases and multiply that. All right, we'll do a practice problem. OK, any other shapes in the world that we can do area so for? Octagon. Circle weird. Octagon we're doing later. Circ. What is the area for a circ? Pi B. Pi R squared. Oh, no, pi R squared. Pi R squared. No, I get that. Those are confusing. Um, the way I remember it. Because whenever you're talking about area, you have a square. Whenever you're talking about the area, think of the word squared, whether it's in the units or, or what else. 
Okay, so we have circle. We need one more in here. It starts with an R. Rhombies. Rhombies. Rectangle. We have rectangle. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Rhombus area equals. We can put this here also. Rhombus is also one of these. Yeah, I'll draw rhombus. One half. D1, D2. D's stand for diagonals. Let's draw a rhombus. Uh, can I ask you if this is in the frame here? It is. It is? Okay, cool. Thank you. So we have a rhombus. What do we know about a rhombus? That all the sides are? Equal. Equal. So we'll pop this. So it's like a square. Sort of like a square, but... Beep. Oh, it's like a diamond. Sort of like a diamond. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you could say it's like a diamond on its side. Yes? Are you saying it's one half times D1 times D2 yeah. plus? Yeah, times, D2. all times. So let's put in the Ds. This is diagonal 1, D1, and diagonal 2 is the other one. So I'll put that down, D2. One half times the diagonals. All right, so that's the list of area areas that we're going to be responsible for. Yes, please? Well, didn't you say that a rhombus is a parallelogram and art fell into parallelogram? Yes, so you can get the area of a rhombus in two different ways, oh, okay. which is a good question. So rhombus, notice I, I threw in here, which is base times height also. And uh, here, here, there. Okay, cut it up like sushi. Um, cut roll. <laughs> All right, so now let's do some areas, shall we? Rectangle. And now we have, I'm going to draw this sort of envelope thing here. One and one, one and one. Please make these 90 degrees. Let's make this 10. All these legs the same. Five. Okay, and let's get and we want the area of the shaded region in green. That's the goal. Five in here. Okay. Area of the shaded region in green. Now, I want to impress upon you one thing. If you take one thing from this lesson, <laughs> almost a spill. <laughs> I'm glad you survived. If you take one thing from this lesson, it's as follows. The logic behind how to get the shaded region in green. So I'm going to turn it to you. What is the logic behind getting the shaded region in green? Okay. You have to subtract the rectangle, the whole rectangle. Yeah. From the like little... What are these two shapes? Triangles. Triangles. Yeah, you said it. I know you mean what you say. You said subtract the area from the triangles. You said subtract the rec oh, excuse me the rectangle from the triangles. Is that right? No, subtract the triangles. From, that's what I meant. Subta yeah. I know. I know. That's what you meant. Add to it, please. Oh uh, wait, is the the five is the the length okay. of the leg of the leg? Yeah. But you're right. So let's put that down. Area of shaded equals area rectangle minus area triangles. That's the logic. Any questions about this logic? Crucial. And once that clicks, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So let's do it. 